Seeing your designs on the catwalk at Paris Fashion Week is the pinnacle of professional achievement for, many, for any designer. But for Canberran Haja Galar, it also marked a huge personal feat. Ms Galar pursued her dream against her parents' wishes, kick-starting a journey that took her to the world stage. Growing up in Azerbaijan, Haja Galar would get into trouble for turning curtains into dresses for her dolls. She couldn't shake her passion for fashion despite her parents having other ideas. I think I did disappoint my dad a bit because I was quite sharp as a child so I had the potential of becoming a doctor and I was doing really well at school but I decided to do fashion. Chasing her desire to be a high-end designer, she scored a spot at the International Fashion Academy before migrating to Australia. Starting her own brand in Sydney was a risky but rewarding move. It proved a raging success until personal issues forced her to give it all up. It was tough, yeah. She moved to Canberra for a fresh start, keeping her threads and needles close. It was in me and I never stopped sewing. I kept dressing the brides, but not as a brand brand because I had to give it a break. A decade later, she opened this couture studio in Griffith. Within two years, she'd gained international acclaim and an invitation to the catwalk in the fashion capital of the world. Paris Fashion Week is known as the most, the home of haute couture. When the invitation came, just two months before the Fashion Week, I said, oh my God, you know, we're not going to make it. But she met the deadline, showcasing her designs inspired by her homeland with a modern twist. Watching her show in October was an emotional experience. I had a bit of tears in my eyes. It was great. A childhood dream, now a cherished memory. Claire Sipthorpe, ABC News, Canberra.